Hey everyone, Steph here from Barbell Sanctuary. In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make a DIY belt squat attachment with your low pulley cable system. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to make one yourself. Let's get going. First thing I'm gonna do is you need a platform to attach your snatch block to. I would have preferred to go with three quarter inch plywood. The only thing I had here was uh, five eighths. So I'm gonna use what I have. We'll see if it's strong enough, it probably is. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my piece of uh, plywood and I want it the full width of my rack. So 44 inches. All right, let's test her out. Just a little, a little tight, but that's perfect, I'll be able to slide it in and out and this will be the platform that I step on. Okay, now that we have our platform done, you're gonna attach something that you can hook up your snatch block to or another pulley if you choose to buy another pulley. You can just buy these D-ring attachments for trailers. I have these two right here. I just had this thing kicking around. I don't know what it's for, but solid metal. It'll be strong enough. And then I have my snatch block that I used for my pulley system which uh, you can see a video of right here, how I do it. So I'm just gonna use this. One eternity later. All right guys, I just tried to make this work. I just recorded a full video. When I tried it, it really did not feel safe. It felt like the plywood was going to rip out and explode. <clears throat> so plywood's not strong enough. Um, maybe if I had three quarters, but I really didn't feel safe. So now I'm gonna make it with a two by four. So I'm gonna throw that there. First thing I'm gonna do is 44 inches across. I'm gonna make it fit in there. So I'm gonna get all my cuts ready and then uh, we'll go from there. I'll, I'll show you what my idea is now. <laughs> So this will be my metal piece. I'm going to take the metal piece that I'm going to attach my carabiner to. I'll just get the middle. It was 44 inches. So it should be 22 inches. I'm building everything to spec to my rack. So don't take my measurements. Take your own measurements for when you're doing yours. So this will be in the middle here. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting a bolt and a washer through this. I don't want it to go up, hit the floor, so all I'm gonna do, just taking a three quarter inch spade uh, bit, and I'm just gonna countersink it just a little bit, just so the bolt go and washer go in the wood and they don't stick out. Okay, I kind of figured out what I'm gonna do. I do like the two by four idea because it's gonna be more solid. I didn't really like the look that it was gonna give me once it was finished. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep going with my, uh, my plywood idea. I'm just going to put uh, three two by fours underneath it. Now that I drilled my holes through, I'm gonna put my bolts through the plywood. So I'm putting one washer, a bolt in my countersunk two by four. So now, when I'm using it, really, it would have to rip out the whole two by four through the plywood. So I'm gonna feel a lot safer than with just the, the thin plywood. And then on the other side, I'm gonna put my plate, one washer and one nut. Okay, so now this is firmly in place but it rocks back and forth, so I'm gonna take my other pieces of two by four that I was originally gonna use, and I'm just gonna put them on the edges. So now I'm gonna end up with a nice platform like I wanted originally. It's just gonna be a bit higher, which is fine, but it's gonna be a lot more safe. A couple screws. Now the middle one is already kind of secured anyways, but 
but I don't want it moving around under there, so I'm gonna put some screws in there as well. There, nice and solid. And one more step, the bolts I used, a little long, so I'm just gonna trim these off. And she's done. Let's give her a shot. Okay, so what I'm end up with is this platform, which is nice because it's nice and flat. I can just tuck it in out of the way when I'm not using it. The way I cut it, it should fit right in my rack. Nice and tight. There, and it does. Feels good, looks good. It's nice and solid. So now, when I want to use it, I'll just use my, my dip belt here. And then I'll take my pulley with my snatch block. And put the snatch block in here. Just put 100 pounds on that. So it's not bad, I can start. Pretty low, much more solid than it was before. Let's go a little forward here. So that's what you end up with. Snatch block goes up. That's nice and solid. I got 100 pounds right now that's pulling on it. I think because of the 2x4 construction, it's making it really solid. So that's it. Belt squat pulley attachment successful. So that's my deadlift. So that's my belt squat uh, platform. If you like garage gyms and home gyms and you like to do it yourself, Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss other videos like this. If you have any questions on how to build your own uh, belt squat platform, make sure you leave them in the comments and I'll help you if I can. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.